Now the next um, visa type is the regular employment visa. An employment visa is basically designed for foreign nationals who fit a particular set of criteria for approval. And if you fit that set of criteria for approval, you're deemed a professional for the purposes of the policy. And uh, in assessing those applications, the Immigration Department apply this approvability test. Do you possess a special skill, knowledge or experience of value to and not readily available in Hong Kong? Moreover, is the employer justified in engaging the services of an expatriate for this particular role rather than the, per the services of a local person? And to be deemed a professional for the purposes of the policy, the Immigration Department are looking for this, that you have um, a university degree and at least two years post-graduation working experience in a managerial or supervisory capacity. Um, if you don't have uh, a university degree, you've got vocational or technical qualifications, then you have at least five years post-qualification working experience in a managerial or supervisory capacity. On the other hand, if you're really just the beneficiary of a high school education, the Immigration Department expects to see that you have at least ten years post-secondary working experience in a managerial or supervisory capacity. So if you've got all of those conditions at play in your life, then you c and you can secure a job offer from a suitable and credible employer and in that regard the Immigration Department are looking to the, uh, the history of the company and uh, what its turnover has been and what its local staffing, uh, its, staffing uh, its workforce looks like and where it does its business from and they're looking to see that its, uh, its, its bona fides as a sponsor can be satisfied. And if you've got uh, a, a job offer paying you a minimum of 16,000 Hong Kong dollars, but understanding that the test for approval also calls for the compensation to be broadly commensurate with market rates, and that's to avoid an employer potentially wanting to hire a foreigner to do a job that really should be paying a local or higher fee for. Um, and another interesting thing about this particular visa type that's starting to show itself in my experience is that there was some data released a few weeks ago that showed that 21% of all first year university graduates remain unemployed at the end of their first year after graduation. And that's a significant number of uh, young people out there that uh, are looking to enter the workforce. So the Immigration Department are going to be looking very closely at the kind of people that are making applications in the future, particularly for those jobs that are priced between the sixteen and $20,000 a month rate, in my experience. So um, essentially, that's what it takes to procure an employment visa. And if you get an employment visa, you'll receive a two-year limit of stay uh, straight away and that uh, employment visa basically allows you to work for that particular employer doing that particular work on those contractual terms and conditions only. It doesn't allow you to go off and do anything else whatsoever outside of those permissions. You, um, if you want to establish a business uh, on the side or if you, for, for example, you've got the ability to do a little bit of freelancing on the side, uh, you could make an application to the Immigration Department to e either join in a side business uh, or to take up side employment uh, and the Immigration Department would look at that and they would potentially give you that approval as long as your current employer agrees in writing that they have no objection to that. So really that's the employment visa.